My name is Stephanie and I'm the blogger behind BrighterDarling.com. If you've watched my videos before, um, this one I might sound a little quieter because I am, again, second day trying to do this, film a video while my baby is sleeping. And I'm right in the room next door, so. Okay, anyway, um, this video is all about my hair routine and everything I use. Like I just recently, I don't know if it's up yet, but filmed like a very in-depth brush, makeup brush video. This is similar to that, but just all with hair stuff. Um, I am someone who has always had pretty good hair, um, but of course I've definitely abused it over the years pretty badly. Um, I am a natural brunette, but I like to be blonde. I've been blonde since as soon as I can get sun in on my head at probably eighth grade. So there's been blondness in my life since I was like 13 and I'm 33 now. So a long time of blonde. Um, I'm really big on liking the ashy blonde. I am very against brassy golden I just don't like it on me it looks really pretty on a lot of people but I like the cooler ashier smokier bright blonde that's what I go for and I work really hard to maintain it as best as I can um, it's something my hairdresser always says like I do a really good job at considering I do have brunette hair um, so I'm hoping that some of the things that I use will help you if you're also someone who likes to have an ashy blonde um, I also have thicker coarse hair and I like volume so I really am trying um, to do all the things that my hair naturally doesn't want to do like pull brassy have heavy coarse hair that I want to be fluffy and volu voluminous so the products that I use enhance volume um, and yeah so that's what we're basically going for here blonde ashiness and then I like volume um, if you're looking for like a technique on how I curl my hair or things like that, I will be doing something like that soon on Facebook Live in August. So stay tuned on my Facebook page if you don't follow me there. I'll be doing a Facebook Live, I want to say. It's going to be early August that I have that scheduled. So you'll be able to see how I get my hair in these beachy waves that last pretty well on me. So, um, but for now, let's get into products. So I do want to start from the beginning with what I use in the shower, shampoo, conditioner and stuff. So. I always said, and there's blog posts on my blog that I've said that I never really believed that you had to spend a lot of money on shampoo and conditioner because it gets rinsed down the drain. But that is not necessarily true if you have blonde hair. If you have blonde hair and you're naturally a brunette especially, you do need to use something that's gonna start from the beginning to enhance that ashiness. And it's taken me a long time to find purple, blue based kind of shampoos that really kill that brass. Long gone are the days of the Clairol, Shimmer Lights, like that crap does not work for me. I need the big guns because I am Latin and my hair likes to go brass. So I have been a diehard for these two. I get both of them at Ulta. This is the Joyco Color Balance Purple Shampoo and I do it I always use both of these together. The Kenra Brightening Treatment, the Intense Violet Toning Mask. These are intense. If you leave these on your hair for three to five minutes each, like three minutes for the shampoo, three minutes for the conditioner, you might even have bluer based hair. I personally don't mind that. I don't mind when my blonde looks slightly bluish because it just gives that ashy coolness that I like. Um, so yeah, they're very violet blue. And that's the difference with some of the other shampoos and conditioners out there that are more purple. Purple can still have a little warmth to it. I don't want any of that. I want like a blue based purple. And that's what you get with these two. It really kills the brass if you're a brunette. If you're already a blonde and you just wanna brighten out a little more of your golden tones, this is probably gonna be too much for you. But if you're a brunette like me and you like brass gone, these two are great. Now, I do wanna mention a new to me um, line from the drugstore. This is one of the drugstore brands I will say is awesome. Um, it's new and I think it's only at Target and this was actually sent to me in PR so I just want to disclose that. Um, but they are, the shampoo especially is just as good as this Joyco one and this is by John Frieda. It's their Violet Crush for Blondes shampoo and conditioner. Um, it's leaking because it's literally like from my shower. Um, this shampoo is literally the same color like I have to just show you. I don't, this is probably a stupid idea. Um, here's the Joyco shampoo and I'm going to put on my middle finger knuckle the John Frieda. 
So this is the John Frieda and that's the Joyco. They're identical. They give you that same purple, oh God, I don't know how I'm gonna get this off my hand. Same purple tone that you need to kill the brass. Um, and this is gonna be a fraction of the price of the Joyco. So um, if you wanna save a little bit of money on your shampoo and conditioner, um, get this shampoo. Leave it on for three to five minutes while you're sudsing up your hair. Really coat your hair with this so it can really, those purple blue dyes can tone down the brass. Um, as for the conditioner, it's not, it doesn't compare with this uh, camera one, but if you really leave this shampoo on long enough and then finish it off with this conditioner, you'll get an extremely similar result to the Joyco and the camera. Uh, next. I don't use that shampoo and conditioner every day. I usually wash my hair two to three times a week. On the times I don't use the purple shampoo and conditioners, I will use a regular um, hydrating shampoo and conditioner. And this is one that's new to me. It's by Arnco. Um, I've used Arnco brands before, products before. They were, it's a newer brand. It's a spinoff of Bumble and Bumble. So apparently like the original owners of Bumble and Bumble, or Bumble are co-founders. I don't know the exact, specifics but basically they went on their separate ways and they wanted to kind of do their own thing with R & Co. So um, if you see this in salons it's like a newer brand. I do think they do sell this at Sephora. Um, I was recently sent this as well so they're not paying me but I was sent this and I've been loving it and I don't like everything from R & Co. I will just put it out there but this shampoo and conditioner is great it's their television line and it's for perfect hair so it does like everything you want it helps set up your hair to be smooth and bouncy and voluminous but clean yes and it's a very hard to get smooth and volume in the same formula because usually with volume you're getting a more stripping formula and smoothing gives you a little more of a hydration so the fact that they're able to achieve that I don't know what you want to call it, results with this formula is really great. It's what I used on my hair last night. This hair is freshly clean. And as you can tell, you know, it's smooth. I don't have any frizz and I do have a little bit of fluff. So I really, really like this. The smell is really nice. A little goes a long way. The shampoo is really concentrated. So you're not, you know, going through these bottles really quickly. And so is the conditioner. It's really great. So um, I've been loving these and I think they're doing a really good job on my hair. So um, the last product that I do use on my hair once a week, I talk about this a lot, it's been in my favorites before, Moroccan Oils Restorative Hair Mask. Years ago, I DIY'd bleach my head with straight bleach and then I would dye it blonde myself. It was a bad look um, and I really ruined my hair. It was gummy, it almost felt like it was gonna break off and fall out entirely. This saved my head. I saturated my head in this for like every day for like a week straight and it really restored and strengthened my hair and since then I've been really faithful to using this once a week to deeply condition and heal my hair so um, I just have nothing good nothing else to say about it other than a once a week deep treatment mask if you have thick and coarse hair and color treated hair especially a potent blonde color treated like I do you need a deep conditioner to keep the health of your hair so it doesn't get frizzy. And I think that's the biggest uh, thing I wanna reinforce is a lot of people ask me like, how is your hair not frizzy? Um, I honestly can only say it's because it's healthy because it's well hydrated. I don't heat style it very often and um, I hydrate the heck out of it. So there's no reason for it to be frizzy. I wanna make a little like parallel here. Think of frizzy hair like dry skin. That's it. So if you really hydrate the heck out of your hair, you're not going to have the frizz problem as much. Um, and, you know, especially so if you're heat styling it because heat is drying it out. So you need to do your best to hydrate and hydrate and hydrate with good conditioners, good shampoos that aren't going to strip your hair too much, and then good styling products. And that is unfortunately, might, it's, it might cost you a little more money, but you have to just decide what you want. What you want. If you want bleach blonde stripped hair with an ashy blonde finish you're gonna have to invest in good products to keep the integrity of your hair sorry it's just there's no cheap way to do it so anyway those are where we start in the shower now let's move to styling products so the number one thing is i always need a detangler i have coarse wiry hair so i do spray like a, a conditioning detangler spray before i blow dry it and i've been using this one by unite 
It's the seven second detangler. It's a leave-in conditioner. Smells really great, nice and mild. Spray this throughout my hair, um, brush it through, and that's it. I mean, like it helps just detangle my hair, so I'm not breaking pieces of my hair and not getting like that. Also, can contribute to frizz if you're like ripping through your hair. You're stripping the what do you call it cuticle of the hair by really trying to get those knots out if you're having a hard time that's not good for your hair um i also really love the way that my hair has like a bouncier fuller body finish using this i've used the um it's a 10 uh, miracle treatment i really like that one too i just don't have it right now i finished it recently um but this one i find gives a little more bounce and volume to my hair so i've been going for this one lately um and then this is a new to me product, but it speaks to the those of you who really want the ashy blonde. This is amazing. Joy, uh, not Joyco, IGK's Mixed Feeling Leave-In Blonde Toning Drops. You put like, it says one to four. I put in like four to six. Um, you put this in your hair with like your styling mousse, oils, leave-in conditioners, things like that. What I do is I'll spray this throughout. Um, and then brush it in and then I'll go in with like four to six drops of this really focus it at my base here Because this is where things can get a little brassier um, So I focus it here and then I like rub it throughout the ends It does the same as like the purple shampoos and conditioner does it really kills the brass It can almost leave purple and blue streaks. So you have to be Start light um, before you go heavy with this, but it's great at killing the brass and it's oh good so I'll show you here like you put you press the top and it's a purple purple slash bluish drop and that's what you mix in with your shampoo or conditioner and see how it's more of a blue purple that's what's going to kill the brass if you're a brunette regular purple is not going to cut it if you're a brunette if you're a blonde go for it but brunettes we need something more potent and this has been amazing um so i just wanted to mention that it's new and so so good for ashy blonde okay uh the next two things are oils i am a big person who uses oils in my hair i've used oils in my hair since 2008 that's like where i was introduced to them and i've been loyal ever since and my two favorites are by goldwell this you can only get at salons it's really hard to find online goldwell carousel control rich protective oil obviously i'm down to the very end here um this is the best oil at not weighing your hair down and really smoothing the ends I don't feel like it hydrates as much, but it does give a really smooth finish. And I will put a one drop of this in my hair before heat styling and potentially after heat styling if my hair feels a little drier. Totally not an everyday thing. I usually use it before blow drying or heat styling, but it's like um, as I as needed if I'm done heat styling. If it feels like it looks a little puffy, a little frizzy, it looks a little has that puffiness to it this then i'll use an oil to smooth it out at the very end but i don't always have to do that so um the other one i really like that really hydrates more too is the moroccan oil light i like the light one better because it's not as amber and golden of a color which is better for the ashy blondes because i just don't want to be putting a rich golden amber argan oil in my hair that's already like I'm trying to make it as white and ashy as possible and then i'm gonna go in and use like a really rich amber gold oil that's fine if you're a brunette i just prefer to go with the light moroccan oil or this gold oil one because it's literally like a clear so those two oils i find are better for not ruining the ashy blonde that i'm trying to maintain okay um so on the days that i really want pumped up volume like we're talking like texas jersey girl hair which is so ironic because i lived in texas and now i live in new jersey um this bumble and bumble thickening go big treatment this is not the same as their bumble and bumble thickening hairspray it's similar but this is less hairspray feeling on the hair if that makes sense like it has less of that gritty feeling and it's a little more not conditioning or hydrating but the hairspray is clear this is a white more milky um, consistency you spray this all over your hair roots and everything especially get it in your roots um, and then a little bit on the ends and then what it does is it expands the dimension of each hair shaft so when you're blow drying your hair it's just overall going to give better fluff without that like mousse or gel kind of feeling like that dry gritty feeling when you use like those kinds of products this is a, a different different animal okay so if you're thinking like it's going to give you that dry feeling like mousse tends to do to give volume to the hair it's not the same thing 
Um, so I really love using this and it keeps my hair volumized for days. So I find that when I would use like a volumizing mousse, it would fall really flat the next day. Like it might look good for a few hours the day I did it, but then it would look like crap. This maintains that volume and body for a few days. So um, I use this on like special occasions or like if I'm on vacation and I want my like blowout to last longer, it just really makes your hair look awesome if you like volume. Let's talk about days that I don't blow dry my hair and I don't curl it or anything. The days that you wash your hair at night and go to bed with it wet because you're too tired to do anything more. That is what this is for. Bumble and Bumble Don't Blow It Thick Hair Styler. They make this in a regular, not thick version, but if you have thicker hair, try this one because you need a lot less product than the original one. I like the original one. I can use that one. I just have to use a little more, um, but this is the thick version, so you need a lot less. And what you do with this is you put a little in your hand, a little, like maybe a dime-sized amount, start there, and then build up if you feel like you need more. What it does is it gives your hair definition and smoothness without um, looking like you slapped on your hair, if that makes sense. So it gives you like that model off duty. I went to the beach and let my hair air dry, but I don't have frizz look, like if that makes sense. So it's not gonna make your hair look like this, like you curled it or anything. It's not gonna give it like a beachy look. It's just gonna give it a smoother look to your natural texture. So that's just, you know, it's just like a step above sleeping on your hair because I find that if you do sleep on your hair when it's wet it can look a little funny it might look a little frizzy a little like straggly this gives it more of a finish so you can get up and go and not really do much to it at all in the morning even though you slept on it while it was wet um, dry shampoo and conditioners I'm very devoted to Batiste I've tried higher end ones they're nice but it's not worth me sharing those with you guys because these are affordable and just as good um, this is dry shampoo this is dry conditioner. This is something you might not have heard of before. I really like dry shampoo for obvious reasons, in between shampoos to give a little volume at the root, um, you know, whatever. And I really like Batiste because it's affordable. I go through this crap like crazy. I feel like I'm using a new bottle of shampoo every two, dry shampoo every two weeks. Um, I like all of the scents. Well, that's not true. I like this one the most and the leopard bottle the most. Um, I just find that it really gives my hair a clean feeling. It doesn't give my hair like a dirty, heavy feeling, which some do. Something about this formula, I always say, I think it's because it has rice starch in it and the other ones don't. Um, it really just gives like a fluffier, clean feeling and less of a gritty, cleaning feeling. Sometimes I like that gritty feeling for like texture purposes, but this is just a cleaner feeling. Dry conditioner. This is something that you might not have heard of. So you know when you use dry shampoo and sometimes your hair just still feels a little dirty, like gritty at the ends because of the, you know, product that they use in the dry shampoo that absorbs the oils. It also can give your hair like a dirty feeling on the ends. Dry conditioner. So I like to spray dry conditioner on the days I use dry shampoo to smooth it out and give it a little more softness and body. Um, on the times I use dry shampoo. So worth noting. Also, if you've curled your hair and you just wanna smooth it out a little bit, it just gives it like a softness and a bounce. And it's main ingredient that really I think does that in this is um, basically it's a derivative derivative of panthenol, which is like a, whoops, a smoothing, smoothing ingredient. So that's what's giving it that smoothness. So if you've ever like used dry shampoo and just hate that dry shampoo feeling on the ends or you feel like it makes your ends look dry and ratty, dry conditioner to the rescue and these I get at Ulta. So affordable. Okay, last like bits of finishing things. So um, when I heat style my hair with a curling iron or a flat iron, I like to use a heat protectant before I do that. And the one I've been using lately is by Moroccan Oil. It's their perfect defense. It's like an aerosol, which is what I really like. There's a lot of heat protectant sprays that you spray on and they're like wet. That to me doesn't make sense. So I'm spraying wetness in my hair and then I'm going in with something that's really hot. Like it just sounds like I'm frying my hair. This is an aerosol one. I think, um... Paul Mitchell might, might make one as well. It's called like Hot Off The Press. I haven't used that one in a long, long time. Um, it's always hard to find in Ulta, but I really like this one because it smells amazing. It smells like the Moroccan oil and it protects the hair up to 450 degrees Fahrenheit. So, so important when you're using what I use, very high heat settings because I have coarse and thick hair. So this is gonna protect my hair from those high heat settings in my curling iron and my flat iron. 
For texture sprays, I go through a ton. Um, I really like deep texture sprays. One of my favorite ones, I don't have it at the moment, but it's the IGK. Um, it looks like a beach on it. I forget what it's called. IGK Beach Tux Texture Spray. I'll insert a picture here or something. Oh, look at my hand. <laughs> um, that's like a very intense texture spray, and I really enjoy it a good texture spray but if you're like new to the texture spray scene and you want something like a little more softer i talked about this in my sephora sephora vib sale recommendations i think um but i still been using it i use it today it's the moroccan oil sorry um i love moroccan oil they do beautiful products for hair um this is their dry texture spray it's got a soft it says soft gritty feel and i think that's really important to note uh effortlessly undone it's what i use today to get my like you know wavy things here and it gives me that texture but it's not like um not super gritty so if you hate that feeling which a lot of people can say texture sprays can be a little too much this is a good middle ground of like grittiness and texture without being too much and it smells delicious so yeah um the last two favorites are hairsprays so i use hairspray all the time i have like this side bang here so i always have to do a little bit of a spritz for the bang when i style my hair and definitely when i curl it so the hairsprays i like to use are more of a medium hold light holds don't do anything on my medium thick i mean my thick coarse hair and i don't like the really strong holds because i don't like to put my hand through and like have it get stuck like that's too much for me um there was a time i used to go for that and like it just ended up my hair looked like a helmet so we're past that so there's a world called medium hold hairspray and that is where i live um the one i've been using forever now for years and i recommend this to my friends and family all the time um it's by dry bar it's the sheriff it's their medium one they dry bar makes a light a medium and a strong hold i've tried the strong hold it is too much for me um so i like the sheriff it's literally their medium hold hairspray it smells wonderful and it says provides medium movable hold with a lasting finish so true doesn't make my hair feel like it has a lot of buildup that's something also i don't like about hairspray is it leaves like buildup on your hair this one doesn't i will recommend to you do not order this from ulta online and do not buy this at ulta in stores i have purchased several bottles of this from ulta that the nozzle gets messed up and it just doesn't spray out and i've had that happen to me several times where i'm in the middle of styling my hair and the hairspray stops working and you know what that means crisis so um ulta i've called them and they've explained to me that it has something to do with their trucks that they use for delivery i don't know why they don't do something about it but whatever just order it from drybar.com that's what i've been doing for over for a few years now and i always buy just two bottles so i can get the free shipping and it's so worth it i've never had a problem getting it from drybar.com um i don't remember if it happened to me from purchasing this at sephora i want to say it did because otherwise why would i start have why did i start buying it from drybar um i think it did happen to me at sephora so i do recommend only getting this from drybar whether you go to the drybar store or you order it from drybar.com worth it i promise you if you like medium hold hairspray this is one of the best one that's new to me that I, I wanted to try out since i do love moroccan oil is the moroccan oil luminous hairspray they say that this is a strong hold i don't agree i think it's very similar to the hold that you get from the sheriff um but it's again the same advertisement that it's weightless natural look with no sticky residue totally true smells amazing you get a nice big bottle bigger than this one this is seven and a half ounces this is a 10 ounce bottle um again no flaky residue weightless hold has argan oil in it um gives a little bit of shine to fights fights frizz and humidity and brushes out easily so anyway that's all of my hair favorites i hope that kind of helps you guys out when it comes to finding products that will give you healthy voluminous ashy blonde hair uh, especially if you have thicker coarser hair like i do if you have any questions about how i use these products or questions about the products in particular let me know in the comments i'll do my best to answer them um, also look at my cute shirt another one i got from thread tanks i talked about thread tanks on my makeup brush video but um, they sell a bunch of cute like everyday casual 
graphic tees and um this was one of the ones i got and it says mamacita and it's so cute so if you're interested in purchasing anything from guide tanks i do actually have a discount code right now and i think it's good through the end of september it's just stephanie 10 at checkout it gets 10 percent off um and you can get anything you want they have hoodies t-shirts v-neck shirts um all sorts of things so go check them out too and hope you guys found this helpful subscribe if you're new and thumbs up if you learned something new about how to take care of your hair so thanks so much guys have a good one